of showers you just stand there for like forever unable to move because it's so comfortable that's kind of what i just experienced first of all hi <laughs> it's weird because i just finished a video and i'm starting a new one so as you can guess by the title of this video this will be a little get ready with me and a little chit chat since me and my friend lily will be heading out for dinner together i've never done a video like this before so that's gonna be a first um but yeah it can't be that hard i guess <laughs> um so me and Lily, we spent the day together. Oh my god. Let's do my guys. I'm so glad for the hair. Lush it up. The hair is not so good. Lily and I, we just spent the entire day together and it was so good. But I am really exhausted and this shower was just mm, so nice. You know when you feel like you just wash off the day or the city or whatever? That was really much needed. So now I feel like a baby. Also my fingers, they turn into prunes or raisins or whatever you call it. I'm such a child but that's how I feel. So, long story short, me and Lily, we are gonna go out for dinner tonight. And yeah, I may as well just tell you where we're going. We're going to a place called Pizza for Peace. And tonight it'll be my third time there. Literally, I've been eating there three out of four days here in Hanoi so far. And it's just so good, I can't help myself. I've been craving westernized food for a long time. It satisfies every single craving I got for that. Mm. But yeah. Today is Monday, the 20th of March, and it officially marks my more than two month mark here, I guess. Yeah, it's been a long time, and I got one week left here in Vietnam, which is insane. And I might as well show you what I'm using, since I guess that's what you do in those get ready with me. For my face, I'm just going to use a bit of this moisturizer right here. Ginseng from Origins. I'm not a beauty guru at all, like I have no idea what I put in my face. I just, yeah, like the smell of this, and I believe it's good for me. Yeah, it's my more than two month mark here in Asia, I believe, or well, two month, and it's insane. Right, Vietnam is almost done, and then I got Bali left, and that's it. Even though I've got lots of time to spend in Bali, so it's not gonna be like in and out in a short time, thankfully, but still, it kind of freaks my mind. It is crazy to think about that it's been, yeah, my two month mark now. Time has just gone by super, super fast. This is just moisturizer, like really boring, but I'm showing you anyway. It is absolutely mental that the time has flown by so fast and I'm really doing my best to enjoy my last week here in Vietnam. Even though I have to be honest, and just like I explained in the last video, I have not been feeling that well here in, in Vietnam as compared to in other countries, like how I felt in Thailand. But I'm not gonna talk more about that since I already did that. I'm gonna enjoy the rest of my time here in Vietnam. I really do thrive here in Hanoi and yeah, I have the best time here. So I'm happy that this is where I'm ending and not where I'm starting. But it's insane to believe the time has gone by so fast and I'm really grateful for all the experiences and all the memories But yeah, it's just insane. I need to slow down a bit and just really consume it into my mind Lily is a German girl that I met yesterday and we spent the entire day yesterday together We spent today together and we're gonna spend tomorrow together as well because we just click and we just get along I already mentioned this in a previous video, but why not one more time? Other than that, I am of course completely solo here by myself I got 10 days in Hanoi in total seven days left now and I have been feeling so good here breaking love Hanoi like it's oh my god it's just it's just been growing on me and also because I've done the non-touristy things if that makes sense so I haven't done the note cafe haven't done the train street I just went by but I haven't done it as like a thing I would want to do if that makes sense but yeah you would have seen on my Instagram and here in my previous vlog what I did and yeah, I just feel really good about it. that's what I'm trying to say I am quickly just gonna brush my teeth it sounds weird because yeah I'll be having dinner in a moment but I feel like I need to brush out the day if that makes sense I'm just gonna do that really quick High quality content. Tonight we decided to dress up a little and just do something good for ourselves, get some good food and yeah, just not wear sweatpants and joggers and basically just do something with ourselves. So I'm really excited for this. I do enjoy my time here a lot, but there's also some things that I really do miss from home, I'm not gonna lie. Why it's so hard to put on bracelets by yourself? I really miss bread and carbs, which is why I'm excited for this dinner tonight because they do carbs really well, but I really miss my bread and my bakery. 
that makes sense more personal i really do miss the safety and security from back home like you know how everything works and there's nothing with language barriers and all that stuff and the feeling of never being on the go but like being completely relaxed i don't think i've ever been 100 percent relaxed here now i'm like 95 80 95 very relaxed but I never feel 100% relaxed, of course. Yeah, also, I just put on this bracelet that I really want to show you guys. I bought it today and I did show it in the vlog I just posted. Oh, well, I may have posted it by now. Other than that, I'm of course gonna wear yeah, these favorite earrings of mine that I always wear. I thought about wearing something different tonight, but honestly, I just love these way too much, so I can't stop wearing them. Um, what was I talking about? I can't remember. Oh yeah, how I feel at home, or what I miss from home. I do really also miss my close friends. You meet so many new people here. It's of course great, and I really, really enjoy that, but you also do miss... I also miss... The people that I don't have to explain myself and I don't have to start over every single time. I can just, you know, the friends who know you really well and you, do, you can just chill and be completely relaxed with them and that kind of safety and also having to share moments and experiences with them. But I've met some amazing people along the way, but that's just something that I miss as well. Oh yeah, I just put on this really, really old... Oh my god, I'm turning the wrong way. I'm not a beauty girl, as you can tell. Probably way too old and it's probably expired, like basic um, clear brow gel. I never wear makeup or do anything else, but I like to brush my eyebrows a little bit. <laughs> That's basically it. Let's put on some perfume. Why not? Oh, feeling so extra. I always use, oh well, when I travel, I use this one right here. It is from Zadig and Voltaire. When I was in 8th grade, every freaking person wore this perfume. Like, you could smell it everywhere. Then it kind of died out and now I'm bringing it back in, I feel, because now not everyone who wears it. It's a stiff, so you have to do like this and then you smudge it out. Mm -mm -mm -mm. It feels really dry though. Yeah, now I feel like it's coming out a bit more. Oh yes, that worked. Oh, I wish I could put it through the camera or whatever, but if you know, you know. Um, something that I haven't mentioned is that, oh, well I think I mentioned briefly, but this is my last week alone and then I fly to Bali and I'm gonna meet my boyfriend and I am, can't put it into words, but I'm really excited for that. I feel like whenever we're gonna meet up, it's gonna be more of a vacation if that makes sense, because we booked everything like in terms of where we want to stay and it's gonna be more relaxed and I think at that point I'm gonna feel more at home just because he gets here. So I'm really excited for that and it's just gonna be great. I feel like I've done my solo solo 100% now, I feel like complete. So it's gonna be good to have him here and I'm really excited for that. I'm gonna stop rambling, try my hair and then let's pick the outfit. The decision has been made and I chose myself an outfit. <laughs> Even though it's not something incredible, but I made a decision. So yeah, I got this like tube top, super basic, but I like it. And with my little new gold bracelet as well. And then I'm wearing these black linen trousers that I got tailored in Hoi An, which you would have seen if you watched my video. But I need to stand up on my toes because it's hard for you to see. <laughs> that is my outfit for tonight. Super basic, but I really like it. And it is comfortable. And I'm gonna wear my sneakers since I don't wanna get my feet dirty again. So sneakers it is. But yeah, it is about time for me to head down and meet Lily right now. She's waiting for me, so I better get going. Let's get out and get some good food. <laughs> Perfect. 
thing can make me back down. Like it was my, my best wisdom. Like, oh, no, they're like offensive. Like, offensive. 